While Wall Street chases AI stocks and tech giants race for dominance, one lesser-known player has quietly surged over 1,000%, and it's not NVIDIA, not Microsoft, and not just hype. This isn't science fiction. It's a legitimate company with real clients, including NASA, MasterCard, and Volkswagen. They just rolled out a technology that could change computing as we know it. Without wasting further time, let's examine these three stocks that are poised for significant growth. First, AI artificial intelligence may be 2025's defining investment theme, but not every AI stock is riding the same wave. While giants like NVIDIA and Palantir dominate headlines, a quieter contender is rapidly gaining attention among speculative investors. BigBear.AI Holdings ticker symbol BBAI With its stock surging over 77% in the past month, BBAI has emerged as one of the best-performing AI stocks in the market's recent rally. But does this momentum reflect a genuine transformation, or just another fleeting pop in a hype-driven market? Yes, I will give you the answer soon. BigBear.AI made headlines earlier this month with the successful deployment of its Enhanced Passenger Processing EPP Biometric Software at 12 major international airports and ports of entry across the U.S. and Canada, including hubs like Chicago O'Hare (ORD), Dallas-Fort Worth (DFW), and Denver (DN). This isn't vaporware. It's AI integrated with operational infrastructure at scale, used by U.S. Customs and Border Protection to boost both security and efficiency for international travelers. In a space where many AI firms are still testing models in labs, BigBear.AI is deploying its tech in mission-critical environments. Further strengthening its case, BigBear.AI recently announced its participation in Project Convergence, Capstone 5, PCC5 a massive joint military exercise involving U.S. and allied forces from Australia, the U.K., France, and beyond. Its VANE Virtual Anticipation Network platform helped military units gain rapid situational awareness and identify threats, validating the firm's utility in real-world defense operations. Yes, a small cap with big ambition, can it deliver? Yes or no? But here is it. With a market cap under $2 billion, BigBear.i is a micro-cap stock in a mega-cap narrative. Its niche? Providing AI-powered decision intelligence tools, primarily to government clients. This focus has its strengths and weaknesses. On one hand, government contracts offer long-term stability. BigBear.AI recently secured a five-year, $165 million deal to develop the U.S. Army's Global Force Information Management System. That's over 20% of its trailing 12-month revenue from a single agreement. But therein lies the risk. 52% of its revenue comes from just four clients. Any shift in federal spending, especially under shifting political priorities, could destabilize growth. In Q1 2025, BigBear.AI reported revenue of $34.8 million, up just 5% year-over-year. That pales in comparison to peers like Palantir, which reported 45% growth in its U.S. government segment. For investors, sluggish growth from an AI-focused company is a red flag. However, the company's backlog tells a more optimistic story. It grew 30% year-over-year, hitting $385 million, a signal that demand for BigBear.AI's solutions may be ramping up behind the scenes. If management can convert that backlog into realized revenue, it could materially improve investor confidence and spark a longer-term rally. Why is this stock cheap for a reason or a diamond in the rough? BBAI currently trades at around 11 times sales, which is at the lower end of typical valuations for software and AI companies. While the low multiple might suggest a discount, it also reflects investors' skepticism about its slow growth rate and heavy reliance on a few government customers. However, with an expanding AI product suite, active defense partnerships, and a recent string of deployments, BBAI has the potential to surprise on the upside, especially if Q3 or Q4 earnings show a significant revenue increase. But here is investor sentiment holding steady but watch closely. The Zacks Rank System, which gauges earnings revisions and sentiment trends, currently assigns BigBear.AI a number three hold rating. Not bearish, but not yet convincing enough to trigger a strong buy. Analysts forecast full-year revenue of $166.85 million, plus 5.45%, and a 62% year-to-date improvement in earnings, although it remains in the red with an EPS estimate of $0.41. For now, the market appears cautiously optimistic. The computer's IT services industry, where BBAI resides, ranks in the top 22% of all sectors, indicating healthy sector-wide momentum. BigBear.AI may not be the fastest-growing AI company, 
It may not be the most diversified either. However, it does have a foot firmly in real-world deployments, military-grade validation, and a backlog that suggests larger revenue may be just around the corner. For long-term investors, the question becomes, can this company convert its backlog into sustained growth, scale beyond its dependence on government clients, and maintain its position in a highly competitive AI landscape? If it can, the upside potential is massive, especially at its current valuation. However, make no mistake, this is a high-risk, high-reward play, best suited for investors with speculative capital and a long-term investment horizon. The million-dollar question isn't if Big Bear will grow, it's how fast it can prove it. So, let us know in the comments if you have an answer to this, or share your opinion if you see this stock as a good investment opportunity. Moving on to another common stock on this channel, SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SoFi, is not just another fintech startup. It's one of the most talked-about financial stocks of 2025, thanks to a 184% surge over the past year, an aggressive product expansion strategy, and a strong push into diversified revenue streams. But with the stock trading at a premium valuation and recently falling 3.13% in a broader market dip, the question becomes, is SoFi still a buy or has it peaked? Let's dig into the financials, fundamentals, and future outlook of this rapidly growing digital finance company. Yes, a red day, but a green month. While SoFi recently dropped 3.13%, trailing the S&P 500's slight 0.11% pullback, it's essential to take a step back. The stock has increased by 33% over the past month, outperforming both the finance sector, plus 3%, and the broader market, plus 5.2%. This kind of price action isn't random. It's grounded in strong fundamentals and high investor expectations. SoFi's upcoming earnings report will be pivotal with analysts projecting Q2 EPS of $0.06, cents, a 500% year-to-date increase, and revenue approaching $803 million, plus 34.5%, the bar is set high. Here is why SoFi still has room to run in 2025, though a little pullback. Despite short-term volatility, SoFi's growth narrative remains intact and arguably just getting started. SoFi added 800,000 new members in Q1, taking its total to $10.9 million, with deposits of $27.3 billion, this segment is reducing funding costs by $515 million annually, a $6 billion plus origination engine generating $380 million in fee-based revenue without taking on credit risk. If LPB reaches its expected $1 billion revenue milestone, joining SoFi Money and its lending unit, SoFi could soon operate $3 billion verticals, each diversified and capital efficient. The market appears to agree. The analyst's average price target of $14.30 has already been surpassed, and the high target of $20 implies limited upside from here, at just 10%. But for long-term investors, these targets may underrepresent the momentum SoFi is building. As its tech platform, investment services, and LPB continue to mature, recurring revenue and margin expansion could push earnings far beyond current estimates. No stock is without risks, and SoFi is no exception. Here are some of them. High expectations leave little room for earnings misses. Despite benefiting from recent cuts, rising rates could reintroduce cost pressures. The fintech space is crowded, with firms like Robinhood, PayPal, and traditional banks modernizing fast. Still, SoFi's ability to cross-sell, retain users, and operate in multiple financial verticals gives it a competitive moat most fintechs lack. With triple-digit stock gains, record user growth, and a path to profitability, SoFi remains one of the most compelling fintech investments on the market, provided it continues to deliver on its promises. For investors seeking long-term return on investment, exposure to fintech innovation, and outsized stock growth potential, SoFi deserves a place on your radar. If you're looking to add a pure-play quantum stock to your future-focused portfolio, D-Wave Quantum Inc. QBTS stands out as a rare gem. While most quantum computing companies are still pitching blue-sky visions, D-Wave is delivering real-world value today with operational systems, blue-chip clients, accelerating commercial momentum. Let's break down why investing in D-Wave Quantum could offer asymmetric upside for those bold enough to bet early. What makes D-Wave different? While competitors chase universal gate-based quantum systems, a dream still years from commercialization, D-Wave is already deploying its quantum annealing technology at scale. This approach focuses on solving real optimization problems right now in fields like logistics and supply chain optimization, AI model training, drug discovery, financial risk modeling. It's not theoretical, it's functional quantum computing in action, available via D-Wave's cloud-based LEAP platform, 
accessible in over 40 countries. With the release of its Advantage 2 system, featuring over 4,400 qubits, 75% noise reduction, and energy scaling up by 40%, D-Wave has significantly raised the bar in the sector. The system is already outperforming classical GPU-based supercomputers in key optimization tasks. What's more, QBTS stock has exploded over 1,000% in the past year, outpacing rivals like IonQ and Rigetti. With a growing list of clients, NASA, MasterCard, Deloitte, and Volkswagen among them, this is no longer a speculative science project. It's a commercial business with deep government and enterprise partnerships. The risks are real, but so is the potential with a current market capitalization of nearly 5.2 billion and a PS ratio exceeding 200X, QBTS is priced for growth. The valuation is aggressive. But for those who believe quantum computing is nearing its inflection point, D-Wave offers one of the cleanest entry points into this emerging frontier. QBTS is not for the risk averse. It's volatile, richly valued, and operating in a deep tech sector still defining its business model. But suppose you're looking to build exposure to bleeding-edge innovation. In that case, government-backed enterprise adoption and tangible quantum product deployment, D-Wave Quantum is arguably the most commercially credible investment in this space today. For growth-focused investors with long-time horizons, QBTS could be the high-risk, high-reward asset your portfolio is missing. Which of these three stocks will you consider? Share your comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next video.